All right, I'm going to start a multi-part video here of uh, doing a re-device an entire house. Just showing you how everything is backstabbed here, including the outlets. And here, this three-way, you can see is already cracked and falling apart because of backstab. I'm sure this got hot with the type of lights that are in the kitchen and the plastic started uh, cracking and it makes the wires even more loose. All right, I'm sure I'll find more. And in fact, in the same box, there's the first one I showed you. This three-way here is also cracked and falling apart. So here's an interesting one I see here. I haven't even opened it yet. Obviously you could tell it's backstabbed, the screws are out. But what's interesting on this side, looks like the ground wire is right up against those screws that are not tightened down. So let me just pause this and uh, take this out, see what's going on. So no damage was done. But you never want the ground touching that neutral. That means voltage on the neutral ends up on the grounding system. But I just want to show you how easy it is for these wires to pop out. All I'm doing is a tiny little twist twist and look. That hot wire's already popped out. And obviously don't do this while the circuit's on. So there's one, couple more twists, and that one popped out. So you see why backstabbing is a terrible loose connection. All right, so here's probably the last part of this video. <clears throat> Just pulled these four switches out this uh, four gang box so there's three ways on each end and two singles in the middle you can see this three way is cracked open that single pole is cracked open and this three way just to show you I, uh, I opened it with power on this time and it's sizzling because of loose connections backstabbed. So that's all for now. All right, so this is probably the last video at this house. <clears throat> this is a switch for a furnace in an attic, and I just know this is gonna be bad. So I'm gonna hit pause, take out these screws, and we're probably gonna have a switch fall apart. And here we go. Well, at least it didn't fall apart, but cracked, backstabbed. You know where I'm going with that. So I've added on some pictures of uh, service calls that I've been to. As you can see, this outlet is backstabbed. A lot of arcing and sparking going on in the back. Here's another outlet, backstabbed. Wires are melted and charred on the back. And here's another, um, this is the neutral side where the hole, the entire hole is melted. This one's interesting because not only are the wires charred, discolored, there's arcing and sparking, but even the heat created the box, made the box melt on top. And this is worst case scenario. This was from a coworker and the outlet was backstabbed and a bed next to it caught fire too because of it.